And I believe strongly in our young people becoming members of the military. I've, I've truly enjoyed my career. As a matter of fact, I've recruited two of my nieces and I'm staying in until they they age me out so that I can be with them as they're, they're getting started in their careers, one in the dental profession and one getting her EMT. After 25 years of military service, Lieutenant Colonel Walker has the opportunity to serve next to her niece at the Innovative Readiness Training, sharing not only a room, but a mission. It is a lot of fun having my aunt, the Lieutenant Colonel, here on the mission. It's a great way to bond with her and see because when I was little she would always come home and tell us about these missions but then actually being able to do this with her is an amazing experience because I get to see her be the leader she is and she has great mentor tips and isn't afraid to you know tell me on a personal level like hey if you do this it goes so much better but also that source of encouragement if you ever get homesick like hey like you're doing great and you know this that friendly face that you know is a shoulder to cry on or someone to give you that tough love when you need it. My younger sister uh, actually just enlisted um, a year ago, so she'll be joining us. She'll be um, a nurse, essentially. It'll be fun to have her there soon. You know, our world is changing, and our world is changing very fast in many areas. I think the military will always have some stability, and I think that as a young person who is motivated to take on an extra part of their life, and the experiences that you can get through there are both educational in your own career field, but you get a bigger picture of other career fields and also a bigger picture of the world.